everybody back out in the steaming hot desert. I just can't get enough of it. Uh, in keeping with the tripod uh, light stand theme, today's theme is really tall tripods. Now a typical tripod is usually no higher than your eyes because you know that's the idea of a tripod. You have a tripod with a camera, so you're standing there and you're doing this. So they never go over this height. But these ones are higher and you might say, well, what do I need really tall tripods for? Well, for example, we do cooking videos and I want to have a camera really high up looking down at the food. And that's what I use this one for. This is an eight footer and it works really well for that. And there's other times where you want a camera really high up, just staying up there a long time, not moving, very silent. So no, you can't use a drone. There's a lot of situations where you might need a really tall tripod. And that's what those videos about. Okay. And plus I like really cool things that are weird and I do videos about things and most people don't so anyway I'm gonna go through three tripods that's an 8 footer that's a 10 footer and that's a 12 footer that one I did a video on already you can see it right here but I'll touch on that again because we're gonna use it for something after I'm done explaining these things so let's just go through the uh, the prices real I'm just gonna go through the prices real quick this is an 8 footer this is by e-image it's a studio tripod with a GHO 3 fluid head 10.6 pounds costs 290 dollars which is really cheap actually a lot of the really really tall tripods that you get they're in the thousands so the ones that I'm showing you in typical fashion of Marcus uh, thing is to show you cheap alternatives and these things are really lightweight and they don't cost a lot so 290 dollars is not a bad price or something that goes up eight feet and has a fluid head. Goes down to 35 inches, which is 89 centimeters. Here we have a 10 foot one by Glide Gear. It's a TST 100. It's, a, it's called a TS, uh, the Glide Gear tall tripod. Goes up to 10 feet, three and a half feet when it's collapsed. 13 pounds, which is like six kilograms. $300, same price as this one. This is actually really lightweight, believe it or not. It doesn't weigh much at all. I really like this one. I like all of them. I like everything. I like anything that's to do with cameras. And here we have the 12 foot one. This is the cheapest one of all of them. It's the tallest one, but it's the cheapest one. And they, because it's not really a photography tripod, that's what has been made for. Anything that's made for photographers is usually expensive because it's a, it's a photography thing. This isn't. Those of you who watched my last video know what this is. Those of you who didn't see the video, drum roll. This is a surveyor's tripod. It's what those guys use on the side of the road, you know, that survey down the road. And there's not a lot of those guys and it's kind of a niche thing. So they don't really charge a lot of money for this stuff. This thing is only $189. Those are 300. This is $189 and it's the tallest one. And none of these weigh very much at all. This one then collapses down to four and a half feet, uh, weighs 12 and a half pounds and uh, goes up to 12 feet. Right now I've got a motorized gimbal head up there and I'm gonna use it in a minute just to have some fun. There's situations where you just wanna have a cool shot from up above. You know, like a, you know, aerial type shot. But uh, these things are, I mean, you never know. I'm a photography geek. I love gear. I like having something for every situation. And I like getting things that are not super expensive, even though I can afford expensive stuff. I like knowing that I got away with it because I like sharing that information with everybody. Let's do something with this thing here and I'll show you an example of what, what it could do, whatever. All right, so I've got the uh, motor hooked up. I've got my little remote controller here. I've got an LCD screen here to see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna have her walking, just walking around. We're gonna have a shot of her from above. Just, just, just so we have a shot of her from above and whatever, okay. I'm using a little motorcycle battery for the power. Another little Marcus MacGyverism. So that's my video for really tall tripods. Just another, see, I, I do things that most people don't do in their photography channels. I know the cameras are the fun stuff, the really expensive, technical, com complicated things, but it's the simple things that support the complicated things. And the simple things are just as important or even more important because otherwise, yeah, how are you gonna be able to support the expensive, complicated thing? All right, I'm getting off on a tangent here. I need to stop rambling. Anyway, so uh, that's it. I hope you like my channel. 
Uh, stay tuned. I'm looking for excuses to come out into nature and do cool things and share my love of photography with you guys. Subscribe, tell your friends, whatever. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye.